Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys Khan Academy. Let's get started. Okay, so before we go any further, I want to let you know that this is a video especially designed for parents and for kids to get set up on Khan Academy so that way parents can monitor student progress and kids can continue through their learning paths individualized, which is really cool. Teachers, if you want to know a way of creating your own classes, monitoring your specific class and your students, then I have a link posted up above for you to do that as well. So make sure you're following the right video. Parents, unless your child is older, I would recommend signing in and creating a parent account first, and then you can create your child's account. And even if your teacher was to create a con class later, they would be able to join that class. And I'll show you how that works in just a second here. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click Parents, the tab right here. And then you can sign in uh, via Google, you can continue with Facebook, or you can sign up with a different email. I'm already logged in underneath my Google account, so I'm going to press Continue with Google and we'll sign in as uh, Mr. Google. And then it's going to take me to this page. So welcome to the parent dashboard. And right here you can press add a child. So this will allow you to create an account for your child. You can then say same thing. Then you can click and decide on your child's username as well as their password. And then you can also decide on their grades. You know, now take note of this because this will also help embed them into a program that's going to be more beneficial to them. So make sure you choose the right grade. So I'm going to choose second. It doesn't really matter if it's a boy or girl. Allow your child to add other coaches. Coaches are anyone that has created a class. So you're going to want to keep that checked so that way they can be added to someone else's class later down the road if someone is using Khan Academy. So I'm going to press next here. So your child's account has now been created, so now I'm going to log in as that child and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm now signed in as my child, right? So you can see drummer05 with whatever I put in at the end. Thankfully, I remember what it was. So um, the first thing I had to check was saying that I agreed to the terms and conditions my parent and I agree. And then it pulls up this page, which is the courses tab. So it's going to ask what grade you're in. So obviously, you're going to want to check your grade. You're going to press continue. And then what's really cool is it gives you a lot of different opportunities for learning. Uh, a lot of people think that Khan is just math, but that's not true. So I could do second grade. I could also do grammar, computer programming. There's also some science courses for older grades, same thing with economics, test prep, as well as college and careers. And then there's some other stuff I'll show you guys in a second too. But I'm going to press continue with these three courses that I've selected. Okay, now you can see I chose two main courses. I have grammar and then second grade, which is focused on math. And you'll notice that the four categories here are all the main four categories according to Common Core that second graders need to know by the end of their career in second grade. So if I were to press start right here, it's going to take me to my skill summary as well as everything that I need to do in order to pass all the content in this first section and get through level one. So what's really cool about Khan is it incorporates videos that have been created through Khan Academy or from other videos on YouTube that will then teach you that skill and then you can practice that skill as well. Or if you feel that you already know what you're doing, you can do the same thing uh, without watching the video. So let's say that I think that I know hundreds, tens, ones. Uh, let's say that I already think I know that. So I'm going to press start. And it says ready to practice. I'm going to say let's go. And it says what number represents 300s, 410s, and 16 ones. Whoa, fancy. 56, right? And then it says nice work. I would go to the next question. And I would keep going until I feel that I have all of the answers correct. Or if I am stuck, if I don't know the answer to something, what's really cool is Khan also always has a, kind of a back channel where you can still get the same answer, but it will usually count it as wrong if you ask for a hint. So I can press watch a video or ask for a hint here. Oops, sorry, friend. And it will take me back to that intro to place value video or a different one, or if I'm still stuck, I can get a hint, and I'll say use a hint. 
and it will walk me through these steps of what I can do and I could ask for another uh, in order to get the right answer. So really, really cool stuff that Khan has incorporated into all of their problems. Okay, so what I did was I just finished this activity. I got six out of seven correct because I used that one hint in there, but it will still allow me to level up if I get the majority correct, or it will ask me to do that activity again or to go back and watch the video first um, or again or uh, do something else before I go any further. So I'm gonna press done here. And you can see that I made progress towards level two. I also have something that I can try again here in order to get full points because I missed some of the questions. Or I could continue down the line here if I want to come back to that later. So a lot of really cool stuff that you can do in Khan Academy that will put you on a specific learning path or your child on a specific learning path in order to be successful in mathematics. One other thing that's really great about this program is it very easily allows for differentiation, individualized learning paths, because if a student understands something quicker than another student does, which happens often in a classroom of 25, if that student got all these questions correct, they would just be able to move on very quickly, and they feel that they know everything after watching those videos. You could skip down to the unit test. It does offer more points, so a student gets excited about leveling up quicker, but if you get some of the questions wrong, you'd have to retake the test anyway. So there's no sense in doing it if you're not ready, but if a student feels like they're ready, they could just jump to the unit test, get those answers correct, and move on to the next unit, which is really great. So I'm currently working on my unit test here, but I wanted to show you guys that there's more than just typing in numbers. So this one is uh, more of a drag and drop from greatest to least, so students have to keep track of their hundreds. This is all based on place value, this unit, so... Oh, I almost got that one wrong. That would have sucked. Oh, almost did again. Holy cow. One other thing that I really like about this program is a question like this, students have to get used to, especially as they get into the older grades with IAR testing or any type of state test, there's a lot of problems that say choose all the answers that apply or choose at least two. And students have to get used to answering questions like that. So which expressions represent the same amount as 400? Well, that's one or th four hundreds put together or 300 and 100. So they have to keep track of those things, which is a great thing to have in a program like this. Okay, so you can see after completing this test that I moved up significantly in the skill lanes that I was working on, even without doing all of those things. Okay, so now you're going to notice over here a little tab has popped up. I moved up to level four. So I jumped a couple levels significantly, even without doing those other activities, because I felt that I had mastered those. And the program agrees. I'm very close to mastery. But what I have to do is I have to take this test one more time, and it's going to give me different problems. It's not going to give me the same thing, but it's going to be the same types of problems to prove that I have mastered the content. Because sometimes students might get the answer right on accident or maybe get lucky that first time. So this program wants to make sure that we really have mastered the content. So I can't do any of these activities standalone again because I've met the proficiency level. So I have to take that test one more time to prove that I've mastered the skill, and then I can move on to the next activity. Okay, I just had to take that test twice because I was trying to go too fast. So you can see I missed two more because I was trying to speed through and take the test. So I had to actually take it twice in order for it to move me up those last 40 points. But it was worth it because now when I press done, it says that I have mastered that content. So now I can move on to something new. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of right now I'm in place value for second grade. That was only one of the subtopics of the overall mathematics for second grade. So if I press second grade here, it's going to take me back out. It's going to show me that place value is now 100% mastered, but that's just the beginning. If I scroll down, here is all the other content area in order to complete everything. Now, if you want to test your knowledge and the skills in the entire course, then you can take this course challenge. Okay, so this problem is a multi-step problem, so I wanted to show you guys that. As well as, if I was to get this question wrong, so it says, Anna had 10 fish, she bought two more after lunch and two more fish after dinner, so obviously this one starts at 11, so I want letter B, and then I have to say how many fish are total. But let's say I got this answer wrong. It would tell me to get help or to move on. So when you're taking this test, if you want to move on from this question and just say that you don't know the answer to this right now, the test will calculate that in a little bit later. Again, what's really cool about some of these problems is it's not just typing in numbers. So I have to create a bar graph here, which is a second grade skill that is tough to manage when you are doing e-learning, for example, and you're off school for a couple of weeks. But this is a great program that allows you to do that digitally without having to waste a bunch of paper. 
One thing I'll point out for sure though is some of these problems may require your child to use a scratch sheet of paper in order to find the answer, especially with addition and subtraction, and as you get up higher into the grade, multiplication, division, and all that stuff. So for this one, I'm adding three multi-digit numbers, so I would need to probably have a sheet of paper if I was in second grade. Okay, so right now I'm on my last problem of my bigger test. So I wanted to show you guys what it does at the end. So I'm going to say show summary. And take a look. Look at all the things that I just accomplished in that short amount of time. So again, this is a great pathway for differentiation, even an individualized learning path for your child, regardless of whether it's e-learning or not. It's a great program, whether they're at school or at home, for them to utilize. Look at all these skills that I've either mastered, so I had already mastered this topic from before, so it knew that already, but now, when it looks at some of these, it's like, wow, this student really knows what they're talking about. So now when I click done, look at all the things that have changed. I went from just having 300 points total to now I'm 30% max, 36% mastered with the entire content area of second grade before I can move on to third grade. And that's something that you can do. Once I've mastered second grade, I can move on to third grade. Sometimes it's not always possible when you're in a classroom with 24 other students. So I wanted to show you guys a few more things that's really cool about Khan that other programs don't always utilize. So when I'm looking at second grade, let's say I want to bump out of second grade and see what I already know for third grade. I can actually do that. So if I go back to math up here, and I was in second grade before, if I go to third grade, it's still going to keep track of the things that I mastered in second grade. So I did work on some addition things in second grade. So in third grade, you can see I already have 200 out of the 1600 points that I need in order to fully master this area in third grade, but you can also see there's a lot of areas that I haven't worked on. So again, even if I was in second grade and I wanted to see what I know for third grade or some of the content and get excited about the following year, then hey, I already know some of this stuff. This is awesome. I could do that. I could do the entire course challenge or I could just learn some of these content area to prepare me for the following year. If your child ever wants to get back to their main screen, their home landing, you would just click on your little profile up at the top and click learn or home. And it's going to take you right back to where you started. You can see now where I was before, I have already 100% mastered, so I would go to a different content area. But I wanted to show you guys that there's other stuff as well. It's not just mathematics. So for example, when I'm looking at grammar in second grade, I'm looking at identifying nouns or singular and plural nouns. How about common and proper, concrete and abstract nouns? Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking that there's some adults that might not all of these things, but shh, don't tell anybody. Throughout the program, you're also going to come across mastery challenges. Those are usually up at the top. Um, a mastery challenge gives you just a couple questions that's going to ask you things that it thinks that you might know or might have an idea of. So I was depressed to get started. It's going to give me things that I've seen before. So I had a question just like this one on the overall assessment that I got correct. So it wants to make sure that I really know what I'm doing before it gives me that mastery level status in that area. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, like, Mr. Thielen, you showed us grammar and mathematics, but where's the LA? Where's the overall English language art? So right now, Khan doesn't have a full version of that, but they do have a beta version that's running right now. So if you have a second grader or over, if you went to courses, you can see there's an ELA beta section. And if you press second grade, let's for, say, for example, there's the main sections, and it does have all the complete content there, but what it's missing is the videos and the helpful visual understanding of how to actually go about doing those things. So they're working on that. But I could still go into this area, like if I wanted to read certain passages with my child to where I'm not constantly scrambling to find different resources, all of this stuff is aligned with Common Core, and these are the same types of questions that your kid is working on at school all the time. So if I was to press practice in keys and details in literature, it's going to give me different passages in literature, second grade level, and ask me to answer questions that aren't as easy as you might think. Now, parents, here's what's really, really cool about this program. Remember, I made this account as a parent. My kid just didn't just make it, and I can't see what they're doing. I can see every single thing that they're doing. So I'm back on the parent account. I signed back in as a parent. Here's my child and his username, right? If I click on him, I can see every single thing that he's done, the number of problems correct, how long it took him to do it. I can see exactly what he or she worked on as well. So many great things that you can do here. And you can also see what teachers they're connected to as well. So you can see that Mr. Thielen added him. So we'll talk about that in a second here. So if a teacher reaches out to a child, they can do that too by finding their username, but something that they'll probably do more commonly 
is send out a class code or a class URL. So if your teacher or your child's teacher sends out one of those codes, what you can do is you could go down to this box right here and type in that code and it will automatically have your child join that classroom. So now not only you can see what they're doing, but the teacher can see what they're doing too. And they can assign your child different activities, not just the main platform of stuff that they want them to specifically work on. So if your child's in second grade, but they're like, hey, I want to give them this one fourth grade content area because I know they're going to see that on next week's test and I want them to practice it. They can do that. So really cool stuff going on and you'll be able to track all of their progress. In the content area, you can also see specifically what little Johnny is doing. So if you're like, hey, I told you to watch that video, did you watch it? And they say, yeah. And if you go to their progress in all activities, you can look specifically at the videos and you can see that even though they clicked on it, they didn't watch it at all. So keep that in mind, there's a really great resource here that is free for you to utilize. So use it. Okay, so right now I'm on the teacher's dashboard, which you won't be able to see, but I want you to see how all these pieces come together and we can create a triangle of communication to do what is best for your child. So right now I have the student in my class, so I added them to their class or they typed in the code, which I'll show you how to do a little bit later. But what I wanted to show you guys is now as the teacher, I can assign that student different things, which I've already done. So if I went to assign here and went to... Oh, right now I'm in kindergarten. Let's go back to second grade. I'm going to assign these two things. And then press assign. And then I can choose which students would get that if they get different questions, which is really nice teachers. And then uh, I can also set a due date for those things. And then I can get it assigned. So now when I go back over to the child's account, they're going to see those assignments pop up from their teacher. Okay, so I just signed back into the child's account. So you can see now I'm back to Drummer. And instead of it now showing courses right away, it now shows assignments. And these are the assignments that are coming from my class, from my teacher, that I can start right here. So let's so say I'm watching this video. video. And real quick, figure out what 27 plus 1 is. And then, if possible, figure out what 27 plus 10 is. Now, if I paused it right there, we're going to come back to that later. I'm at 9 seconds. We'll come back to that later. But I could go on to the next assignment, and then I can press Let's Go. I can try to solve these problems here. Now, notice how I completed the second activity right after the video, which I totally botched, and I got one of them wrong because I wasn't paying attention. But notice how it still says Start for that video that I skipped earlier. And when I press Start, All right. it's going to take wow. me right back to where I left off before. And notice how I'm getting energy points. And I always told my students when I was in third grade, this is an easy way to earn energy points which gets you badges and it levels you up faster if you actually watch the full video. And it will allow you to finish the assignment. So that would be my suggestion to tell your child, make sure you watch the videos. I even had my students take notes sometimes depending on what the video was. And if I assigned it to them, they knew it was of high priority. I also wanted to point out that Khan has recently released a new app that's called Khan Academy Kids that really focuses on educating the whole child so rather than just doing math or English language arts, there's even social emotional learning uh, wrapped up into this and it's, it's really cool. So I would definitely recommend that you check that out as well. So to sum things up, Khan Academy is a fantastic free program that isn't just mathematics, but it's an incredible program in all sorts of content areas and it allows your child to have an independent learning path that is specific to them based on what they're doing and what they're learning. It also allows for parent, teacher, student collaboration. Teachers can assign things, parents can view things. No one is left out of the loop. It's a great program for the price of zero. So keep that in mind. I would highly recommend Khan Academy. Get started today and make sure that over these next few weeks while we're off, that your child is benefiting from such a great program.